The first season of HBO sports drama, Winning Time, The Rise of the Lakers Dynasty, was controversial for its portrayal of NBA legends in a way that prompted both Lakers greats Jerry West and Magic Johnson to voice their opinions on the show. They don't really know because that was somebody telling you something that wasn't true, right? Winning Time is not even close. Jerry West lawyers sent a letter to the creators of the Winning Time show and HBO basically demanding a retraction and an apology for the way he's been portrayed in this. The show took a humorous fourth wall breaking tone as it dramatized the Los Angeles Lakers during the days when Jerry Buss purchased the franchise and Magic joined the team at the start of the 1979-1980 season. While the on-screen representation didn't please the legends, audiences were swept up by the show. And ahead of a new season, HBO has released a new trailer for the second season, teeing up a rivalry between the Lakers and the Boston Celtics with the introduction of Larry Bird. By the trailer, season two will cover the 1980-81 to 1984-85 Lakers seasons. Unlike the first season when they focused solely on Magic's rookie season, Season two of the show will showcase five NBA seasons. The trailer starts from the same point the show ended after Lakers won their first championship in the Showtime era. We see Magic sitting in a locker room press conference and saying the Lakers can win back to back. Johnson says his opponents better watch out with Larry Bird footage flashes on the screen. Any advice for your opponents? Better watch out. This would be one of the main plots in season two as that rivalry was one of the most intense and exciting rivalries in NBA history. The two players were both generational talents, and their battles on the court helped to revitalize the NBA in the 80s. The trailer then shows Magic proclaiming the Magic is back, reference to the 1980 Lakers winning their first title since 1972 and to the way he led them to that championship. The next segment shows us Dr. Jerry Buss saying his kids are here, most likely to reference the tension between his kids as they were managing the Lakers organization. Got the kids on the team now. Bus Empire's taken off. Then Magic pops up again in the trailer, saying they won the gold, but it's not enough for him. Then we see Pat Riley explains Magic why no one repeats as NBA champions with the pictures zooming in on Larry Bird staring on a bag full of newspaper articles of him and Magic. You know why nobody repeats? Because the guys that you beat along the way they spent all that time figuring out new ways to break you down. The one thing I'm really looking forward to see in season two is how they'll portrait Bird by the trailer and the little screen time he had in season one, they are going to paint him as the badass the Lakers and the NBA could not figure out. By Newton Mangi, who portrays Lakers player Jim Jones on the show, Bird will be thrilled with his portrayal throughout the show's second season. Well, you know, my castmate who plays him, Sean Patrick Small, I mean, he, he was meant, he was born to play Larry Bird first and foremost. So this killed, so, he killed it. Oh, he freaking killed it. Yeah. So my, my personal opinion is Larry's yeah. gonna love it. Yeah. Because it's, it's, once again, it's a love letter to him as well. It shows a lot of arc to where he started, to where he came, and yeah. what he became. Yeah. So I think it's a winning time situation for him, winning time, pun intended. Yes, yeah. That uh, he'll he'll enjoy. So you think Larry's going to be brave, like he, he'll actually support this? Yeah. I'm going to bet on that he does. Yeah. If he doesn't, though, Sean did a fantastic job. But yeah. I'm going to bet on that he does. For the few casuals who still don't know, Larry Bird was a master of trash talk. He was known for his witty barbs and his ability to get under his opponent's skin. Backed up with his unreal basketball skills and winning mentality, Bird was a nightmare to play against. The trailer continues to another Celtics legend, Red Auerbach. Auerbach was the coach, general manager, and president of the Celtics from 1950 to 2006 and was known for his hate to the Lakers team. LA. Then the trailer shows a sequence that builds up the tension between Magic and his coach, Paul Westhead. This is a spoiler, so if you're not familiar with the story, skip to the 524 mark. After the Lakers won the 1980 NBA Finals in Westhead's first year as coach, they lost in the playoffs the next year to the Moses Malone-led Houston Rockets. Tensions grew between Westhead and Magic. The young point guard wanted Westhead to implement a fast break offense involving all five players that he felt better suited his style of play, while Westhead was insistent to continue running an isolation style offense centered on Kareem. I just wanted to move on. I wanted us to get back to our winning ways. I wanted us to get back to running and gunning because we were not doing that. Westhead was fired early in his third season with the Lakers and replaced with Pat Riley. As the story goes, Westhead was fired in November 19, 1981, the day after Magic had demanded to be traded because he wasn't having any fun and couldn't get along with the coach. All I asked was I want to be traded. 
and then all the other things came out. The Magic Man became the instant villain, but after winning 16 of 18 games and the last five in a row under Riley, the players were thankful that their young leader spoke out. The truth is, Westhead's system had been criticized in the Los Angeles media long before his firing, and the coach had been teetering on the brink of departure for a week. Johnson's outburst simply expedited his dismissal. The next topic the trailer presents is Magic's multi-year contract and how Kareem didn't like it. A basketball team is like a family. Pick out any one member, others will wonder whether or not they belong. Back in 1981, Magic and the Lakers agreed to an absurd 25-year, $25, $25 million contract starting from 1984 and expiring in 2009. My teammates didn't like that Dr. Buss and I were close, but what made life even worse than that is when he gave me the 25-year, $25, $25 million contract. The contract, however, did not sit well with the legendary center, and he was the first to express his concerns in the news. Kareem was mad, <laughs> like, what? Wait a minute, is he the player or is he management now? There was a loss of trust in the locker room concerning Magic, and players felt uneasy with the relationship he had with Buss. The trailer continues with Dr. Buss giving an emotional speech to his Laker players before a game versus Boston. We're the flash in the pan, and that's all we're ever going to beat until we beat the goddamn Celtics! F*** Boston! This speech will most likely take place before Game 6 in the 1985 NBA Finals, when the Lakers finally beat the Celtics to win it all. LA comes to Boston and wins the world title. That win marked the first time in NBA Finals history where the other team clinched the championship against the Celtics in Boston. The trailer continues to push the Lakers-Celtics rivalry with a montage of some of the most famous moments of that matchup. The trailer ends with Pat Riley talking to Magic and saying, everybody's a hero in their driveway. Put them under the bright lights. Most of them are praying that the ball don't come to them. One guy's praying that it does. As Larry Bird's image shows up on the screen and then Magic's image right after in another reference to Bird's greatness and legendary rivalry between him and Magic. Winning Time Season 2 will hit HBO and Max on Sunday, August 6, 2023. Much like Winning Time Season 1, the second series will be releasing its episodes weekly, ending its run on September 17, 2023. The show's success is what prompted such a quick turnaround in between installments as season one was released only a year and a half before the next season. Tell us in the comments, what was your favorite moment of winning time season one? And if you enjoy this video, hit the like button, share, and subscribe. For even more basketball content, subscribe to our other channels, Free Dawkins and Vintage Dawkins, and follow us on social media.